everything in life has a purpose. So that's where I would begin our spiritual understanding of disappointment. There is a purpose for every disappointment you ever had, be it great or small. The Kabbalists even go so far as to say that if you put your hand in your pocket and you wanted to take out you know, a quarter, instead you took out a dime, that's not a huge disappointment, that's some disappointment, even that has a purpose. So, if you begin the understanding or your thought process around any disappointment in that it has a purpose, then the next question is, okay, so what's the purpose? So, before getting to the details of understanding that, I think the general view, and it's so important, that life is not made up of parts, but rather it is of a whole. And I want to explain that a little bit, because I think it's so important in many ways, but certainly as we deal with disappointment, I think, in, the, in a more elevated way. And it relates to, the, the, by the way, the reason we're having this podcast, besides some of the questions people sent us in letters, is that we, one of our children this week, we, we overheard a phone call, did we overhear? Oh, they were sharing with us, they were sharing with us a disappointment that they had. And unsurprising to us, but maybe surprising to them, that, you know, this is life. Life, there are times when things go as you want them to go, and then there are times when you invest time and effort in something, this was relating to work, and he was, just, he was disappointed. But the mistake that most of us make as we view our life is that we view every moment as separate from what became came before and what will come after. So, when we experience disappointment, if that's all it is, well, I don't want this in my life. But if I understand that this disappointment is connected to that amazing feeling I'm going to have three hours from now, and that that amazing feeling I'm going to have three hours from now is going is going to be connected to other disappointment that I'll have the, the hour next to it, and in some ways, some of this we will understand, some of this we will never understand, that is made of one cloth. It's not, you can't, if you excised out the disappointment, you will necessarily excise out the benefits, the blessings.